yes welcome on this channel i welcome you all on this channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to test a working host so in my previous video i shared with you a video on how to find a working host and this video is already out i will leave it in the description if you have not yet seen it or watched it so after you getting a working host after watching that video linked in the description you have to test if the host is working or not before you start using it so for you to test it please open the app store and in today's video i'm going to show you two different methods of testing a working sni so head over to your google app store or google play store install this app it is available for ios and android users please make sure to install this app http injector and make sure it is updated so for like today's video hope you are seeing the computer mouse or the computer arrow meaning i will be using it to point where you have to click so take a note where it goes and where it clicks so after you installing this app make sure it is updated you open it by tapping on the open button and to remind you i'm going to use this arrow as indicator uh, it will show you where you have to click let me hope you understand so this is how we test for a working sni you you open the app tap on tools hope you are seeing it right here tools then when you come here you test you click on where you see response checker let me hope i'm not too fast then when you reach here you tap here then you select gate then here where you see headers you select headers <coughs> then you come here where you see url then here you enter a working host a working sni for example so this is how we test uh, a working SNI. Let me show you. So you put a website which is working, uh, like a SNI, and check if it is working. So for example, let's say this is your SNI. Let's say this is your working host. So you put it there. Then you tap right here on shake. And then make sure your internet is on. Then you will receive the results. So as long as you see http slash one dot one two zero zero okay it means that this host is online and it is working so when you see something different uh, it means that it is not working so other hosts may not display this so let me put for example So let's test this also. Then, after you typing it, you click on check. So the other way is like to locate this word connection. 
then when you see connection you if it is skip alive it means that this host is online and it is working so let's move to the second method of shaking a working host so if that method may seem to be difficult to you open chrome or any search engine uh, we shall use chrome in this video so you open it so when you open it you you come here where you see like where you can search then you search for like hosting hostshaker.net let me hope you are seeing it very clear this one hostshaker.net then you tap on search then you tap on this first option which is www.checker.net so this is the simple website if you like the other method is not good for you you come here and here you can shake host in this format in this format like in like in this model or in IP format then you can also check host in this format of www.com let me hope that was very clear so if you don't know you will get to know it there are hosts of this format like this and there are hosts of that type like that so and they are hosts of just www.den.com so any host can be shaked here so here let's try to shake a host in this format but i've told you that you can check whatever uh, whatever host in in any format the whole the website will help you so you bring your host this uh, like the host i'm using is just for example for all a gate so after you writing it here your host here like this then you click on check uh, like host check let me hope you are seeing it then you look down here where you can see that the host is up it means that this host is alive and if you see something different from host is up it means that that host is not working or you have wrongly written it like let's first make a simple mistake in this host then we click host check let's first make a simple mistake so as you can see here when you put a host which is not perfectly good or wrongly written it will bring you a valid host or ip address so make sure the host you have written it in a correct format and if you don't see that the host is up and you see something different from that it means that that host is not working or it is offline so i think that is it for today's video if you need more guidance more help comment make sure to subscribe for more videos coming your way